hello guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is tessie good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all depending on where you are watching from hope you all are doing well and thank you so much for stopping by so the governor of anambra state william obiano has vindicated ipob and eastern security network while many believe that ipob and esn are behind the killings in southeast governor william obiano has come out to say that politicians are behind the killings in South East. Yeah, my people, I'm going to read out the news for you guys. You guys remember that the spokesperson of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ima Powerful, just said that Hope Uzodema and his likes are behind the killings in South East, especially Imo State. And here, Obiano is confirming the same thing. Before we get into the news, if you're just watching for the first time or you've been watching without subscribing, please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe also on the notification button. In that way, anytime we upload a new video, they will notify you. And I pray that the same way you all are supporting us in this channel, God will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in Jesus' name. Amen. This news I read, desperate politicians behind killings in Anambara. And this is coming from Governor William Obiano. Governor Willie Obiano has said the recent killings in the state is linked to politics and perpetuated by some desperate politicians who are ready to do anything to take over the state. There have been speculations that IPOB was responsible for the attacks, especially with the alleged chant of no Biafra, no election by the attackers in many incidents. But Governor Obiano, in an Independence Day broadcast in Oka, expressed the contrary. He said, the forces behind the attacks have a target to scare voters and seize power in the state. Obianos brokers read in part, we are in a very critical period of our evolution as free society. Almost every day, we witness events that test our patient as members of the same society and our resolve as those charged with the responsibility of providing leadership to our people. We are confronted by the sight of evil and the brazen display of callousness that is aligned to our people. We see our brothers and sisters bleed to death from wounds inflicted by their fellow compatriots. And we are forced to ask ourselves, who is the enemy? For us in Anambra State, we have just stepped into our decisive moment. 37 days from today, Nde Anambra will decide who will be their next governor. The approaching election has created strange desperation among the political class leading to acts that are not only inimical to the regime of peace that my administration has entrenched in our beloved state for eight years, but also a threat to democracy. The deliberate attempt to hit up the system and create the impression of chaos in Anambra State is a ploy by desperate political leaders to wet the ground and provide a perfect alibi for electoral malpractices. We are aware of this plot and we shall resist it with all our might. Obiano said Anambra State has been the safest state in Nigeria for eight long years and its people shall not allow some unconscionable politicians to turn Anambra into a theater of crime and absurdity. He said, the negative identity they are trying to force on Anambra state shall not prevail. We shall rise together to protect our state, protect our communities, and defend our democracy. Ndi Anambra, November 6, 2021 is our date with destiny. On that day, we shall decide whether we shall continue our steady march into the promised land or return around and head back to Egypt. But we may do well to remember that my team and I have changed the story of Anambra State in the past 
eight years. Obia not listed some of his projects that have placed the state in an enviable position to include a highly rated international cargo and passenger airport, the largest convention center in Nigeria, a brand new Oka City Stadium, three gleaming flyovers and 18 bridges, the Golden Tulip Agulu Lake Hotel, a thriving agricultural revolution and solid education and health sectors. He added, My administration has laid a formidable foundation for the Anambra of our dream. We have endeared our great party, the All Progressive Grand Alliance, to the Anambra with a stellar performance. Therefore, we have no doubt that our people know where to vote on November 6th, 2021. We all have a role to play to keep our dear state safe and ensure that the coming election offers Anambra State a chance to stay on the highway of greatness. We have a moral duty to come out in our numbers and cast our vote according to our conscience on November 6th, 2021. All right, my people, and that is it for you all from the Executive Governor of Anambra State, Governor William Obiano. Yes, we know that Obiano is not even good himself, but God is now pushing all of them to come out and say the truth. That name, IPOB, is now what every politicians are crying on. All the attacks are now being accused to be done by IPOB. But this is how God we continue to use them to expose themselves. Of course, these all these things are happening just because the federal government and even the state government they are doing everything by all means to bring down this group. Any little thing, IPOB, unknown government, IPOB. If a child steals biscuit, IPOB. If you feel headache, IPOB. But thank God that God is not man. Now, even some evil missions being carried out by the Fulani Hesmen are now said to be done by IPOB or because of their hatred for this group. And you wonder, what is it that this government has not done to bring down this group? You see, talking about the achievement mentioned by the outgoing governor of Anambra State, William Obiano, I was waiting to hear him mention that he eradicated poverty in Anambra State or that he awarded scholarships to students, but none. The people are tired of always voting and voting and voting in leaders who are not doing anything good for their betterment, for the betterment of the people. Rather, they care for their pocket. Even if the IPOB had said no election would hold in any Biafra land, I wouldn't blame them because for the past years, there has been an election. And nothing tangible has ever happened. The governors are there and the Fulani hexmen are entering the estate with cows and killing innocent people, committing so much atrocities under their watch. The other time, Obiano said, if the Fulani kill you, you pay, uh, they pay you 500,000. If you kill their cows, you pay them 500,000. Imagine comparing human life with 500,000 naira. Isn't that pathetic? My people, we have seen it all in this country, but I, I thank God, just like I said before, that they are beginning to uh, expose themselves one after the other. And that is how they will continue to expose themselves until they begin to kill themselves, just like they killed innocent people. And that is it for you all. I'm just going to leave you all to share your thoughts with me on the comment section. And with that, I'll say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Your love, your support and effort upon this channel is not taken for granted. So let me know what you think and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.